Hey, what's up everybody? This is part two of my updated ranking of all of the unique melee weapons in Minecraft Dungeons from worst to best. Make sure that you go watch part one of this list if you have not yet because I'm ranking all 35 of the unique melee weapons from worst to best and I already ranked from 35 all the way down to 14 in that video. So just make sure to watch that so that you're caught up and in this video I'm going to be ranking all the way from 13th place to first place. As I said in part one, this list is based off of the actual performance of these weapons in game. Anyways, let's get into the second part of my ranking. Coming in at number 13 and starting part two off is the diamond pickaxe. The trade on this weapon is that you can find more emeralds, but what makes it good is that it just has good base attack damage and it has a pretty quick attack speed. And when you combo that with the death cap mushroom, this gets a really fast attack speed. Plus this combos on every second to hit. So you can put swirling on this weapon and you'll be doing a lot of AOE damage alongside the strong single target damage that this weapon already has. Of course this weapon can also be used to find emeralds if you want to get triple prospector on it although I have definitely not been able to do that but if you can that's amazing. Then we have the vine whip that has a unique trait that makes it inflict poison on hit which is a very unique type of trait because we don't see any enchantments that make you inflict poison. We have the poison cloud of course but that is different than inflicting poison so I thought that was really cool this weapon has good base attack damage and a decent attack speed but what makes this weapon really really shine is the fact that it combos on every single hit so if you can get something like swirling on this weapon or shock wave you'll be activating these enchantments on every single hit and with swirling especially that will increase your AoE by an incredible amount and then if you combo the mind whip with the death cap mushroom you'll just be able to do so much damage you will have to get used to purposefully moving right in front of enemies before attacking instead of just pressing on them right away since the whip weapon type itself has a very awkward type of attack where it attacks from a long range almost like a ranged weapon but if you just walk up close to mobs and put that swirling enchantment to work you will have no problems clearing them up quickly next up is the eternal knife which is of the soul knife weapon type and it its unique perk is that it gives you a chance to gain extra souls. The extra chance to get souls is nice but it's pretty inconsistent and you can't rely on it. Because of its inconsistency it's not an amazing perk to have especially when you attack really slowly so you don't even have that many chances to trigger it. Under the same weapon type we have the truth seeker which deals more damage to wounded mobs so it has the committed enchantment on it. I find that the committed enchantment is much more useful than the chance to gain extra souls because it's very consistent and since our weapon has a high base damage, the percentage increase in damage that we gain from this perk is pretty effective. Then we have the Soul Fists, which are a interesting melee weapon. They give you Soul's Critical Boost, which is Enigma Resonator. They have a Relentless Combo, and they give you Soul Gathering. The Soul's Critical Boost makes it so that based on however many souls you have, you will gain a critical hit chance, which will give you the chance to do triple damage on a hit, and if you have your Soul Bar maxed out, that chance will be 20 25%. These are a soul weapon, so they do have soul gathering, and this is a great addition to any soul build. Unfortunately, this does have a combo kind of like the sickles, and you stop attacking for a short period of time midway through it, and this can be pretty annoying, but the attack speed on these is still really, really fast, and the base damage is pretty decent for how fast they attack. Overall, these can be a pretty good addition to a soul build because they have bursty damage where you can just quickly defeat a mob, get some souls and then continue using your soul artifacts. Then we have the Stormlander which is of the hammer weapon type and its unique ability is that it fires lightning bolts. Basically I think Minecraft Dungeons just wanted to make Thor's hammer in Minecraft Dungeons so that unique trait is not very useful but the base damage of this weapon is pretty high and the AoE is incredible. It has large area of effect damage that is extremely effective in clearing big packs of mobs. Then we have the Hammer of Gravity, which has a unique trait that pulls in enemies on hit. This is way more useful than the unique trait that we see on the Stormlander, the Lightning Bolt trait, because this can first of all help your allies by grouping enemies together, but second of all, it can just help you because this makes it much easier to put that area of effect damage to use since you'll just be pulling in all enemies into your area of impact. Then we have the Moon Daggers which are of the dagger weapon type and they give you a soul's critical
Miracle Boost, which is basically the Enigma Resonator Enchantment. These have the same attack speed as the Fangs of Frost. They are pretty fast, and the base damage is pretty high for how fast you are attacking with these. These are really strong against bosses because of that Soul's Critical Boost. And when you combine that Soul's Critical Boost with an additional Critical Hit Enchantment, and then some more damage boosting enchantments, you can mount down bosses really, really quickly. It's also interesting to note that this is not a soul weapon because it does not have soul gathering on it. This is interesting because no other weapons in the game have some type of soul perk on them but then don't have soul gathering on them so i just thought that that was something interesting worth noting next we have the battle staff of terror this is a new weapon that drops in the lower temple and this came out alongside the jungle awakens dlc but it's available to everybody and it has a stylish combo the battle staff weapon type has a really high base damage towards the end of its stylish combo but to get the combo going you have to keep on holding your attack button if you attack one once, but then stop attacking after your combo will then reset now the battle staff does not seem like an amazing weapon but it's actually great for overall use it's amazing for bosses because of that high base damage towards the end of the stylish combo and it's also good for mobs as well just because it has a long long range and that comboed with a pretty quick attack speed when you combo this with the death cap mushroom makes it really easy to stay at a range from mobs and not take damage and at the same same time have a good cleave on all of them then we have the growing staff which is also a battle staff and it increases your damage to wounded mobs which is just the committed enchantment having the committed enchantment on this weapon is so so strong because of the high base damage so this definitely beats out the exploding enchantment from the battle staff of terror and with the battle staffs I would recommend putting on enchantments on the weapon that increase your base damage so things Things like critical hit sharpness and committed these are all amazing and they will make a huge difference in the amount of damage your weapon does next we have the infamous the one and only fighters bindings these have a unique trait that boosts your attack speed just permanently and they have turbo punches this means that they don't have a combo they just keep on hitting and they hit very very fast these are the fastest hitting weapons in the game because of that you can put enchantments to serious use here like swirling critical hits and radiance and the base damage on these is really high considering how fast they attack now unfortunately with the recent jungle awakens dlc up update they were kind of nerfed in a way because the radiance enchantment was nerfed it does not heal as much it heals 50 percent less and because of that these are no longer really the meta in the game right now they are not being used in top tier builds as much and so these kind of got deranked from their number one spot these are still amazing for killing bosses they are the best melee weapon in the game hands down they can be so so strong with the correct enchantments and artifacts and just overall they are a great great item at number two what do we got we've got the cursed axe this is of the double axe weapon type and its unique trait is that it makes defeated mobs explode the double axe weapon type is amazing on every single hit you do a swirl all around you that hits all of the mobs around you and that is just so effective for killing mobs the base damage on this weapon is incredible it has a pretty quick attack speed and this is just a perfect well-rounded weapon that makes killing mobs very easy and also just killing bosses as well no other melee weapon can clear mobs as fast as the double axe weapon type can it's just so fast because of its spin attack that it has and it is extremely powerful then at number one some of you may have already known since the start of the video what it was and some of you may only be finding out now it is the whirlwind axe this is also of the double axe weapon type like the cursed axe was but this is better than the cursed axe because it comes with the shockwave enchantment on it which is very consistent you combo on every second hit with the double axe and this damage is 
all enemies within a frontal cone in front of you. The damage that the enchantment does is pretty decent, and this just keeps adding on to the mob clearing potential that the double axe has. And this is also useful when you are fighting bosses, while the cursed axe's explosion effect can't really be used against bosses. This is an amazing weapon. I really recommend you try it if you have not yet, and I really think that you will enjoy using it. Anyways, everybody, that is it for my updated ranking of all of the unique melee weapons in Minecraft Dungeons. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and also leave your suggestions down in the comments below for any new videos that you would like to see or just any feedback that you would like to give to how I could improve my videos. I saw some suggestions in part one of this ranking where some of you said that I should make an updated ranking for all of the item types, so for armor and the ranged weapons. So if that's something you would like to see, let me know. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.